Hello, Princess on a Pillow here. I am here to do a review slash recap with my opinion on Ready to Love. Um, I forgot what episode this is. It's season nine. I don't forgot what episode this is. I didn't write it down. It's titled Pajama Jam. Let's get started. The guys met with Tommy at the lounge. All the other guys, they get to meet Justin. They seem a little worried that Justin may step on their toes. Tommy explained that he brought in Justin because another guy had flaked on them. Tommy told the fellas that they... Um, he told the fellas that Leanne is no longer with them. And then Chaz claimed that she he's sad because Leanne was one of his connections. I didn't know that. Did she know that? Hmm. I wonder if she knew that. Tommy told them that they are having a pajama party. The guys seem happy. I don't know why. I don't know what they think is about to happen at this pajama party. Tommy told them that the party is about intimacy and chemistry. So he's going to put a bunch of singles in a house with their skivvies on and see what happens. I guess. Next, Dominique and Alexis meet up at a stretch lab and um, they each had somebody stretching them. Alexis is thin and limber. The guy that was stretching her, he didn't have much work to do because she, you know, she's limber. She can stretch. Dominique said he was glad he didn't have milk before he came because he didn't want to let loose anything on the lady that was stretching him. After stretching, they sat down to talk. Dominique said he um, doesn't say I love you a lot. He just shows it because that's the way he grew up. I don't care how you grew up. You're an adult now. Come on. Some black men will never say I love you. Because they think it's a sign of weakness. It's not manly. That's just them being insecure. Alexis told him that he reminds her of her father. Old fashioned. She didn't say old fashioned. I'm saying old fashioned. He told her that she has the trait of a mother. She can multitask. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. When did he see her multitask? So he thinks they have a connection. I don't think she likes him. I liked him until he opened up his mouth and started to talk. Vanessa and Laurent, they um, went and did paddle, paddleboard yoga. Vanessa was a lot stabler than Laurent. Laurent was nervous, shaking, falling into the water, talking about, oh God, oh God. I think he was actually scared. I think he was really scared. And I think the producers choose these um, activities for them. Maybe they give them a list of activities and, and they choose which activity they want to do. But I'm pretty sure these two didn't choose this activity. Um, afterwards, they sit down to talk and Vanessa told Laurent that she heard that he's a party boy. He said in his confessional that somebody keeps running this narrative that he's a party boy. He is the one that put that out there that he's a party boy. He said he partied from Wednesday to Sunday. He said somebody is labeling labeling him a party boy. You labeled yourself a party boy. How soon they forget. He told Vanessa that he works from home and if he doesn't go out, he will become a hermit. You can go out. You don't have to go out and be a party boy. And you only go out from winter to Sunday to party. That's a nice way to dumb it down, um, Laurent. He said he party from winter to Sunday. And then he's looking for a lady to change that, li that lifestyle. That's what he had said. Now he's singing a different tune saying somebody's putting it out that he's a party boy. You put that out there all on your own. In his confessional, he said he don't want Vanessa poisoning other people's mind by um about him being a party boy. You did that. He was the one that put that out there. He's ridiculous. Next, everybody shows up. 
for the pajama party. And you could tell who bought new pajamas. I would have bought a new pair of pajamas. Um, John, so Jonathan is talking to Alexis. He told her that he likes her. And um, um, he, she makes him feel comfortable. So she does what everybody does. She starts to blush. You know, when somebody says, I like you, of course you're going to blush. So she starts to blush. She thinks he's reserved and she wants him to open up. So everybody's socializing and talking and playing big Jenga and having a good time. Chaz did not buy new pajamas. He is wearing an old ratty t-shirt. He could have at least bought a new t-shirt. T-shirts don't cost that much. Dominique and Mika, they sit down to talk. He told her that he always um, lose relationships because he isn't ready. He wasn't ready. He said he didn't give it his all, but now he's ready. I guess he's realizing that he's getting old, so he better, you know, act right, get his act together. She told him that she has been having kids ever since she was 18. He told her that he wants to be a father. In her confessional, Mika said she does not want any more children. And then she told him that. She actually told him that, that she doesn't want any more children. In his confessional, he said she is not what he's looking for, but he wants to peel back layers. Then he said, I don't think we like each other in a romantic way. So why does he want to peel back layers? Leave her alone and go on to the next girl. Why do you want to peel back layers? Why do you want to waste your time doing that? Dominique is annoying to me. Next, Alonzo has a huge um, bonnet on his head, and him and Rashina are doing the kid and play uh, dance. Um, her pajama bottoms are way too short. Way too short. Next, Koshia is pushing up on Justin, telling him how cute he is, and she tells him that she needs to feed him, to put weight on him. And I don't blame her. He's a bit too thin for my for, for me. He's, a bit, he's on the thin side. He needs to fatten up. So while Koshia is talking to other guys, Laurent is feeling some type of way. In his confessional, he said they talk he made Koshia talk on her phone for hours, but she has been kind of secretive lately. And maybe she has decided to stop rocking with him. That's what he said. Well, Laurent, what you need to do is go talk to her and see what the hell is going on with her. That's what you need to do. Next, Tommy shows up. He calls out Chaz. He told him that he is wearing, he's not wearing pajamas. He's wearing basketball, a basketball outfit. And he's right. He's not dressed for bed. He's wearing this ratty t-shirt and these um, sweat shorts. And for once, I agree with Tommy. Chaz on, has on a gray, dingy shirt that looked like he's had that shirt for years. The shirt looks gross. Tommy told him that the men are in, in power and at the end of the party, a lady is going home. So next, all the singles are taking funny pictures in a photo booth. We see William telling... Mika, that they are cool with each other, but there is nothing romantic going on with them. What does that mean? Does that mean they're going to try and eliminate each other? We then see Alonzo in a Viking hat. I think it was Alonzo in a Viking hat, and he's giving Rash Rashina a kiss on the cheek. Then we see Rashina talking to Will. She asked me if he's doing okay. He said, he said they say I'm sleeping on the floor. <laughs> So we see clips of him going around to the different women, asking them, well, talking to them, um, trying to find out who said he was sleeping on the floor. Patrice said it, well, Patrice is the one that said it. <laughs> so then we see him talking to Patrice, and she, um, Patrice told him that he said, he had told her that he was taking his covers and sleeping on the floor. He said, I never said that. Um, you misunderstood me. So they went back and forth, um... She said, uh, you said it. He said, no, I didn't. She said, yes, you did. He said, no, I didn't. And I think he did. I think he said it. <laughs> Mia and William are taking pictures together, and they are both feeling each other. Mika and Justin are talking. Um, she asked him if he has kids. He said, no. She asked him if he wants kids. He said, yes, but if he doesn't have kids, it's okay with him. Justin is just saying what he thinks the women want to hear. Justin is not being true to himself. But Mika is loving his answers. 
Too bad he's not telling the truth, Mika. He's not telling the truth. So she told him all about her kids. He told her he doesn't mind dating someone with kids. Then he compliments her. And they're smiling all up in each other's face. And they seem to like each other. Next, Koshia and um, Jonathan are talking about her nails. Talking about Koshia's nails. When Laurent comes up and asks to talk to Koshia. So Koshia and Laurent, they walk off together to have a little talk. And she grabs his arm. She wanted to hold on to his arm. And he pulls away from her. That was so rude. She said to him, can't I hold your arm? He said, no, you've been showing out. <laughs> so that's her punishment. So they go inside to talk and he pulls out her chair for her. You pull out her chair for her, but she can't hold your arm. So they sit down. Um, and I don't know why he has a problem with her talking to other guys. This is what the show is about. They talk to, she, he has to talk to other girls. She has to talk to other guys. Last episode, he said Maya was his number one connection. I think Laurent is being a baby. He said to her, I text you and you are being mysterious. You're talking to other guys and we've been um, locked in since day one. He said, I want to know where we're at. And he said, it's not just because it's elimination night. I will go to the end of the earth for you. He's trying to tell her, you know I can eliminate you, right? So say the right thing. <laughs> I guess that's what he's saying. Why did he bring up elimination? Then she said to him, she she said to him, can I hold your, your hand? He said, no, I don't want you to touch me. Or <clears throat> I don't want to touch you. <coughs> that's so mean. She told him that she has to go through the process. She said she can't keep him all to herself. He said, yes, you could. She told him that if they're going to do that, then they may as well just leave the show, leave the process. So then Maya sits down at the table and Laurent um, starts to flirt with her. Maya yells out that Laurent is a party boy from Wednesday to Sunday. Laurent goes over to Maya, puts his arm around her and whisper in her ear, stop that, stop that. And she's giggling and laughing. And um, then Vanessa and Chaz, they come and sit at the table. And Koshia is pissed at Laron for being distracted by Mia. Or Maya. I can't say her name. Is it Mia or Maya? I don't know. I would have been pissed too because they're talking. Koshia and Laron are talking. And Mia comes in and he just, you know, quit talking to um, Koshia and starts giving Mia all his attention. I would have been pissed too. So, because she had told Laurent that what just happened didn't need to happen. He didn't need to go over there and talk to uh, Mia. He told her that he didn't want to upset her. She told him, too late, you already upset me. So, they're arguing back and forth. So, then she starts to cry. And she's eating and crying at the same time. And Chaz says to um, Laurent, she's upset, man. Are you just going to sit there? And Laurent said with a smirk on his face, what do you want me to do, Koshia? Then um, Laurent um, gets up and walks off. And Chaz consoles Koshia. In his confessional, Will is, is um, seeing this scene play, play out. And in his confessional, he said Koshia will lie and blow things out of proportion. He said she needs to get an Emmy Award. Chaz then goes to talk to Laurent. Chaz told Laurent that you are dismissive. Um, Laurent said, I said... He said, um, no, Chaz told Laurent that you are dismissive. You can't listen and be dismissive. Laurent said, I can. I can listen to it and then I can dismiss it. Laurent said he was listening and what he heard was BS. So then Chaz left him alone because he needed to cool off. Next day, all, they are all inside and Dominique came up with a game called Truth and Sexy. Or truth or sexy. I don't know which one it is. You either tell the truth or you say or do something sexy. So Chaz asked Patrice, truth or sexy? She said truth. She said she will always choose truth because she's not about to do anything crazy. And I agree with her 100%. And if you say truth and you tell a lie, who's going to know you're lying? Who? Right? 
he sits her down and then um, kneels in front of her and asks her who is the sexiest guy in the room. And of course she says him and he's a happy camper. Dominique asks Koshi a truth or sexy. She chose truth. He asks her if, if it's true that Laurent is a dom. She said um, he is her top connection. Laurent said in his confessional that he does not believe her and he doesn't know what she wants from him. Mika asks Maya, truth or sexy? Maya says, sexy. Mika told her to throw that thing on the person she is least connected with. So Maya twerks on Justin. I don't think Justin liked the fact that he said, I'm the least person she's connected to, but she twerked, twerked, she twerked, on, twerked on me. That was the challenge, um, Justin. That was the challenge. She didn't twerk on you because she liked you. That was the, t the challenge. She, and she did her challenge. Mika asks, will, um... Asked me, um, truth or sexy, Will chose sexy. She told him to kiss the feet or the foot of the strong, of his strongest connection. He kissed Alexa's foot. But Alexis was acting like she didn't want him to do it. But we know from past episodes that she liked that stuff. She liked the toe sucking and, the, the, and all that. She liked that stuff. Alexis said he kissed the foot that had the band-aid on it. Ooh. Jonathan said Will did not kiss her foot. He um, kissed his hand and then he pat her shoes. She wasn't wearing shoes. She was wearing sandals. And I rewinded it and he did kiss her foot. Jonathan said he can do better. So uh, Laurent told Jonathan to whisper sweet nothing in the ear of his strongest connection. So Jonathan goes and picks up Alexis and made her straddle him, straddle his lap. And then he got all up close and personal on her. And she was saying no, 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 and trying to push him away. But she weighed like a buck or two. She can't push him away. He's stronger than her. <clears throat> so then Will and Alonzo finally had to, you know, stop it. They had to, like, you know, come and pick her up off of his lap. And she was embarrassed and uncomfortable. She didn't like that at all. And that would have been um, uncomfortable and embarrassed, too. Justin asked her if um, she was okay. Then Tommy comes in. She said yes, and then Tommy comes in. And then he kicked out the women, and I think Koshia um, think Koshia will be the one going home. None of the guys like her. Right before they were about to leave out, um, Will walked up to Alexa and asked her if she was okay, and she said yes, and gave him a hug and said, told him thank you. After all the ladies left, Tommy asked the guys, who do they have a connection with, and who do they have chemistry with? Jonathan raised his hand because he wanted to go first. He said Alexis. And then Will and Laurent looked at each other and laughed. Jonathan said their um, personality, him and Alexis' personality, mesh well together and they are very comfortable with each other. I don't think she liked him. Will said his greatest connection is Alexis. He said they are the most intimate. They talk about deep things. She's smart. She's beautiful. She's everything a man should want. Dominique said Alexis, he said she is cool, she has the best personality, he said you can do anything with her. Anything? Chaz said his strongest connection is Vanessa. He said she is like a goddess, she explains what she needs, she is very clear on what she expects, and he feels like she is ready to love. Alonzo said his um, strongest connection is Patrice. He said their conversation is organic, they have fun. As soon as they see each other, they start smiling. William said his top connection is Maya. She is amazing. Justin said he liked um, Mika because she is uh, going to give the same love you give to her right back to you. How does he know that? Laurent said it's no secret that his strongest connection is Koshia. He said it's a lot of emotion. And chemistry, he said, it's not perfect, but it's real. So all the men have a connection with all the women except for um, Rashina. So you would think that Rashina would be the one to go home, right? Let's see what happens. Tommy asked the men which one of the ladies is not ready to love. You would think they would say Rashina because nobody chose Rashina as their connection. Chad said Mika. He said they exchanged a lot of information, but they did not connect. William said Mika. He said they could be 
great friends, but nothing romantic. Jonathan said Mika. He sees her more as a friend. Justin said he has not made a connection with Vanessa. Laron said Alexis. Oh, Alexis. Okay. Yeah, Laron says Alexis. And then when he said Alexis, Will said, You know you lying. <laughs> I kind of like Will. I don't even care if he sleeps on the floor. I kind of like him. <laughs> Will say, You know you lying. Don't put my name, my girl's name out there. Laurent told him, well, um, she's my least connection. You know, for me, she's my least connection. Dominique said, Koshia is dope, but he doesn't like her in a romantic way. Will said, him and Koshia does not share the same values. He said there was chatter saying, these dudes ain't got no money. And then Tommy had to clear it up. Tommy said, so Koshia said this? He said, yes. I don't know why he said there's chatter. Just said Koshia said. Alonzo said Koshia. He said they had a miscommunication and he didn't like the way she handled it. Tommy told them to gather the ladies together. Every, so everybody gathers is gathered together outside. Tommy called out Will and Will called out Mika and Koshia to the front. Will told Mika that she gives off homey vibes. In her confessional, Mika said, nobody said that. She said, Will made that up. Will told Koshia that she, that her chatter was off-putting. In her confessional, she said, Will is full of shit. And right about, um, right about when Will was about to tell us who was not ready to love, the show went off. I hate when they do cliffhangers. It's so stupid. Just tell us who went home. <sighs> well, that was the end of the show. This is the end of my review. Thank you so very much for watching. Princess on a Pillow here. Bye.